Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to the Mithril Mines, where I forgot to climb up this. That'll teach me to turn off the select button. Because remember when I said that there's some materia in here? Well, I think you sort of saw it before this untimely battle started, but... Well... We... We, we missed the materia. Because it was up here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I did not inflict stop on the dragon guy. Uh... No, I did not. Okay then. Whatever. Let's do this now. If only to confirm whether or not it actually does Berserk. Because it, I know it... Oh, it doesn't do Berserk! Is it just haste? Because I know it does haste. You can sort of tell it does haste, actually, because Cloud is bouncing, like, twice as fast. Um... Okay, I'm gonna need to check that now. Because I could've sworn that inflicted Berserk. Uh... Check. Haste and raises defense percentage. Whatever the hell that means. But yeah, yeah, it does do it does do haste, and not berserk. Anyway, we missed the long range materia, which has limited use, but it's actually going to be really important for something that's coming up fairly shortly. But I'll talk more about that when it happens. <laughs> no, for now, for now we need a GDFO and actually get on with the stuff. We have, we have things to do. Uh, like this. This is a thing that we're gonna do. Uh, maybe I'll save first, though. Now that I've picked up that en that well, it's not an enemy skill. Now that I've picked up that materia. By the way, we're in the Juon area now. Is this Juon? No. No, it's not. Also, I just noticed I had like a little message in the corner of my screen about saving. I'm going to need to watch out for that in the future, because you are not going to be able to see it. At least not the whole thing. But I digress. Let's continue. We've been fighting the Shinra on this battlefield for a long time. We are still settled in for a long war with them. Could you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, but if you're so busy with something, why don't you finish that first? We will help you, fellow freedom fighter! Yeah, no, let, let's do this. Welcome to Fort Condor! Uh, which you can see right there, entrance to Fort Condor. Because this is not one of those games where it gives you the title when you enter a new area. Which is lame, but understandable. I mean, it's not that it's lame that it doesn't show the title so much as that it's cooler when it does, I guess. What you gonna do, though? Uh, not much. There's a few things we can do here, actually, uh, having said that. Really. Mm-hmm. Any minute now. It appears you have a problem with Shinra as well. After all, you climbed up here. Sure, why not? I got nothing better to do. Not like I have, have to save the world or anything. Yeah, it's huge. Mm-hmm. Okay. They don't like a huge bird sitting on their reactor. Oh? Well, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. We must protect the air! Right. But we do have the ability to hire mercenaries. Hmm. You know, my name is Cello, fashionably lit McLeod. 
I may be the mercenary you're looking for. I mean, of course I'm going to go along with it. We get the mad loot for doing this. Well, I mean, sort of. Not not really. It's complicated, okay? Um, I'll explain that in a couple minutes. First, I want to shop. Uh, no, I don't want anything that you're selling. I don't want anything you're selling either. Okay, I guess I'm not shopping. But I am going to go down that ladder. This ladder, that is. This has got to be a rope ladder. But there's a bed down here, and a save point. I'm not going to use the save point, I am going to use the beds. Because I'm pretty sure they're free. Oh, yes. Free in. That is terrific. Okie dokie, then. Let, let us climb back up. And then take the ladder we haven't taken yet. The one that looks sort of like a painting. I mean, they all look a little bit like paintings, because they literally are a painting. All the backgrounds in this game are matte paintings. <laughs> all of them. But yeah, let's go up here. And talk to this guy. Really. Very interesting. Or an, um, okay. So. Yeah, right. Uh, how much money do you actually have? Funding. You have 1,500? Okay. Uh, quick math check here. That is... Yeah, I know. Okay, so, the 3,000 figure. What that actually means is it costs 3,000 for them to have a battle when we are not here. Uh, you see, there will be battles here throughout the game that happen at certain points. You can show up, there will be just over 20 battles. You can show up for about 14 or 15 of them. Uh, and I will personally show up for probably around six or seven. The reason for this is twofold. First of all, a lot of them will happen when stuff happens later in the game, which would prevent us from coming to help, but will still cost money from the fort's funds. But second of all, and more importantly for our cases, most of them require an ungodly amount of backtracking. Ungodly. Uh, which I'm just not willing to do. So, basically, I'm all. The rewards for. Okay, the very first battle, which we're gonna fight now, and the very last battle have great rewards. Most of the ones in the middle are kinda. Eh. And while I could go for saving the extra 21,000 gil. Ugh. It's going to cost me to skip those battles I'll be skipping? Uh, I am going to still skip them. Having said that, I'm not sure if I should pay them this right. Because... Because I am going to need my money later on. For something other than this, and I really don't think I'll have enough. So, nothing right now. I'll, I'll fund you on the, the first time I come back here. Because the first couple aren't really too bad, but it just gets worse and worse. Up until, up until a certain, basically until you have to come back here anyway. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse backtracking. But anyway, uh... Okay, ready. What if I just say... No, I'm not letting you handle it. That would cost me 3,000 gil off of the funds. Yep, okay, so here's the thing. If we try to set a unit... 
It costs us money out of our gill, but not their gill. I am not going to set any units. Because there's two cheap ways to do this. Or two cheap and fast ways to do this. The first way, you can, uh... You see our arrow is really not there? This red line is here when we try to place something. That red line will move based on where we're placing. Had we placed something in the beginning, it would be like somewhere around here. But you can move it down by moving your units further down. So one of the ways you can speed this up is to basically get units all the way on the bottom, quickly kill all the enemies, and that ends it quickly. But you still have to pay money for the units you summon, and it might take a fair few units to actually do that quickly. The other opportunity is to do what I'm doing, place nothing, and let them come straight to you. If any enemy reaches the top, you will have to fight a boss special for this area. The boss is not that hard to beat, and I want to say the, actually again, the first and last time you fight him, has some worthwhile things. It's like literally probably the only boss in the damn game that you can actually steal stuff from. Um, but yeah, so, I'm gonna let this stuff come up here, and, you know, fight him, and then it'll still count as a victory, and it won't have costed me a dime, and it won't have cost Fort Condor anything. And it is way faster than trying to kill all these guys with, with soldiers. Although, possibly not, although possibly not as fast as trying to kill them at the choke point here. I'm not really, I'm not 100% on that one. I, I've been told that that one is a good strategy, but I've never actually used it myself. Damn straight you're counting on me. Check it out. It's this asshole. Who's this asshole? I don't know. S -s Some monster guy. Use Chocobo Mug and steal. The power of thievery. I actually don't even know how much HP this has. I just know it's not that hard. I just know that it is a reasonable fight for me at this point in the game. Wait, nothing to steal? Oh. I guess the first one doesn't have anything to steal. I know that some of these... I know that this guy does eventually have stuff to steal, though. Anyway, I should probably attack him. Um. Ooh, limit break. And... <laughs> Just attack, I guess. Oh, I inflicted stop on him! Man, you are lame. Let's see. Sure, why not? But yeah, most of the prizes for these mi missions that I'm gonna skip, like, the first one, it, well, you're going to see it in a couple of minutes. The last one, I'm not going to tell you because it's sort of a spoiler, but it's actually really important to do that one. Uh, and I think not optional, actually. But all the other ones are are just consumables. It's like, well, except for one, actually. There's one that is a not really that good piece of equipment, and literally every... But it is the single most backtracking intensive mission to get that particular piece of equipment. Uh, and it's not even really that good. And all the rest are like, ethers and high potions, actually maybe not high potions, but ethers and elixirs and things like that. But yeah, we got experience for that, we got AP, we got a decent amount of money actually. That nearly would have refunded. That pretty much bought us another whole other thing. And if I go over here, and I look at his funding, he still has 15000 Because he only spends his money when we are not here. So, 
I am personally going to want to make sure these guys have, let's see, I'm going to say probably around over 30,000 for sure. I'm going to need to more than double it. Probably around 41,000 will be a good number for me. But I'm not going to worry about getting them that much right away. Because again, like it'll take them a while to wear down their current funds, you know? And I'm probably going to do the first two fights because they're really not that bad for, in terms of backtracking. After that, it starts getting rapidly worse. I guess the second and third fight, not because I just did the first one. Anyway. Anyway! Uh, now... Now I'm gonna do something else. Actually, maybe not even save file. File has been saved locally. Okay, yeah, that is totally there in the corner. Sorry about that text there. I mean, I can't actually... I can't really suppress that, so... Oh well. It's not that big a deal. Uh... Yeah. Oh hey! This bird is pretty interesting. We can't do anything with it now, but it does have an enemy skill we will be able to get later on. But we can't get it right now. We have not f like the choke like the chocobo enemy skill. We need to fulfill a special condition in order to get it. Hmm. I should heal. Can't reach? Well, shoot. Incidentally, that right there, you see that? That is what long range is for. We can't hit it because it's flying, but if we had long range, we'd be able to hit it. Fortunately, we I'm pretty sure we can still hit it with a limit break. Usually, that's how these things go. Haha! Victory! Okay then, now I just want to be in this forest. Where am I? Let's see... Okay. I get, uh, the place I eventually want to be is over that way, but I want to do something first before I go over there. Which... Uh, did I get really lucky? Oh, I actually did! First fucking try. I only, I only had like a one in eight ish chance for this. Maybe one in sixteen. I don't remember the numbers. We're after this one. Oh yes. A lot of people really hate this. Hate really hate this one. The mystery ninja. I don't. I understand where that comes from, but I also think it's somewhat misplaced. I think she's a pretty interesting character. But we'll get into that soon enough. We did it! <laughs> Yay! Get some experience, get some AP. Actually, a lot of AP. Matt, you could grind a lot of AP pretty quickly by doing this. This is new. Okay, so I'll tell you right now. Do not use the save point here. It's it's fake. In fact, don't do anything. If you do something wrong in here, she will run away with your money. Um, I actually really wasn't expecting to do this right now. Like, I didn't think I'd get it on the first try. I thought I would go into the next episode. So, one second. Uh... This is going to look a little choppy because I can't open my menu, because if I do, she will run away with my money. Like literally, if you let her out of your sight, it will always happen. Okay, we're back. I had a- I didn't have- I have a list for the- for this, like, I have 
special notes just for this sequence that I didn't have up because I didn't think I'd actually get into the sequence this episode. Man, I can't believe I lost. You spite hit a jerk! One more time! Let's do it one more time! Not interested. Although, actually, I will say this. I... If money... If I wasn't worried about running out of money, I would actually just be doing this off of memory. Because I think all of her responses are really funny. And I think I can probably remember most of the stuff. But, she does steal your money. Potentially quite a lot of it. If you do it wrong. And I, like, really... I, like, really cannot afford to lose my money right now. I'm gonna spend every cent of it in the next two areas. Having said that, not interested. I I think she's giving me the finger. Finger, run away! Stay and fight! Fight, I said! Fight! What's the matter? Come on! You're pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. <laughs> Just what I thought. What do you expect of someone with my skills? Ha ha ha! Good luck to you guys too! If you feel up to it, we can go another round! Later, suckers! I'm gonna leave! I mean it! Wait a second. What is it? You you, you still have something for me? Is that it? Hmm. I know you want my help because I'm so good! Like, you don't even know how good. That's how good I am. You want me to go with you, right? That's right. <laughs> I thought so. You put me in my spot. Hmm, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse, can I? Alright, I'll go with you. Okay, this will open up the menu to name her, but once again, if you let her out of your sight, she will run away with your money. That is a harsh lesson to learn. Let's hurry. Also, I think it... Wait, I haven't even told you my name! Having said that... Yay, achievement! If... Okay. She actually says something different if you name her with the... By asking her her name. If you ask her her name, it'll bring up this message, then she'll run away. Then if you invite her again in another battle, after another battle, she'll just yell out her name. But because we didn't do that part, it just, we, because we did it right the first time, it gives us the benefit of the doubt, and we can call her Thievie McThief. No, Yuffie. Um, she is a, such a th ninja, my fucking ass. She just... That's the real reason people hate her, because she steals everything. Oi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. You're not kidding anyone, y Yuffie. Okay, on that note, uh, I'm gonna stop off here. So join me next time when we do stuff with our new character. Yuffie, the first of two hidden characters in this game. Until then, this has been Cloud Spiky Hair in Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Bye!